This just in. The Universal Guadalupe class of 2011 just got shafted by a barrage of exams. And right now we're live with the real time victim of this massive, inhumane, and hardcore shafting, giving us some feelings and thoughts on that hardcore shafting and that massive shafting that the humanity has seen in the last 20 decades. Sir, can you please tell us against us some feelings on this hardcore shafting that you just went through? <laughs> That looks like this, pain, this, this victim really got shafted. Um, big tears from a big man. If it may, a lot of engineer cry. Imagine what it could have done to you. My name is Ty Said, and I also got shafted. Back to the newsroom. So, you guys saw that. You guys are witness to that. So, in this, in this episode of Shaft News Network, we are going to talk about engineering students. We are mainly going to talk about three things. The mark of an engineer, how they go through hilarious lectures, and finally, their mission impossible exams. I'm not going to go through how to prepare for these exams, because it's not possible to prepare for these exams. That's why I said they're mission impossible exams, and hence the name mission impossible exams. <laughs> so, to start, the engineers mark. What do, how do they look like? They look like human beings. But that's not it. They're, you can find them on campus past 8.30 p.m. on Friday and Saturday night. Just go to CPH, RCH, or any of the lab and you'll find them. And by the end of the term, they will pretty much look like zombies from extreme sleep deprivation. <laughs> so, that's enough for Mark of an Engineer. On a more interesting point, they do have hilarious moments in their lectures. For example, one of the senior students when I was in first year, he told me that he had a class in third year, which I'm taking right now because I'm in third year, called Probability and Random Processes. On the first day of classes, the professor says, Guys, what's the probability of me getting head? And then he just kept flipping the coin and the class was like, what? <coughs> what are you serious? And he's like, guys, come on, I want the answer. What's the probability of me getting head? And he just wouldn't stop. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but he definitely wanted an answer without realizing what he's asking. So that's, that's just an example. Another example is my thermodynamics professor right now. What he, is, what he does is, apparently when he was teaching us things about turbines, turbines are things that take in a fluid, maybe like air, and then it spits out fluid at a different pressure. Big deal, we'll see. But apparently, according to him, turbines are sexy. And he, was, he, said, he said, today we're going to learn about sexy things, really sexy, you know, it's so sexy. When we talk about turbines and nozzles, we talk about sexy things. I was like, okay, unless you have Megan Fox, I don't see anybody sexy around here. So then, so then, so then, so then, so then, so then, so then he's like, See guys, look at this turbine, and he threw something like, oh, a box, oh my god, and pressure goes in, pressure comes out. I was like, okay, this man has completely lost it. <laughs> so, anyways, so that's for the hilarious moments in the exam. Finally, the Mission Impossible exam, my favorite part of the term, not the term, this presentation, sorry. <laughs> first, it starts with exam nightmares. I already had my first one. Last week or the week before, I remember I had a nightmare when I saw that I was still on the first page after two hours of the exam and the professor was actually laughing at me. <laughs> that is very bad. That is very bad. And I actually had this dream. And I remember the professor's face and he was laughing like, <laughs> I got you now. I got you now. So, so then I'm pretty much sitting through that exam and going like, hmm. okay, this, this is a real exam by the way. I'm sitting through like, uh, okay, first page. What the hell is this? Look, it looks like I didn't even prepare for anything. Oh, look, okay, maybe it's the first question, you know, like, you know, second question probably not bad. S second question, what the hell is this? There's no more pages to the exam. <laughs> 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 and then I was like, maybe I'm in the wrong section of the exam. And I'm like, no, it says you see 316. But, what the hell is this? <laughs> I can't do anything. So then, I was just like, whatever, man. So, see, in probability, midterm two, I've never seen that many people going inside a room and coming out chanting, I feel that, I feel that. It's like a chant, you know, like parade. I feel that, I feel that, I feel that. Everybody's work, like, saying that synchronously and, you know, like, walking out at the same time. It was pretty funny. So, finally, um, sorry, I forgot my shades. Can I put it in here? So, I was just going to act out my or a typical engineer's uh, routine during a Mission Impossible exam. So allow me, please.
<laughs> In summary, today you have learned the mark of an engineer, particularly strange but hilarious lectures, and how the reacting mission impossible can. Let me have a quick joke about engineers, which I got from a website called Engineering Humor. An, an engineer was walking down the road, and he got, he looked at, he, looked, he saw a talking frog, so he picked it up, and the talking frog said, if you kiss me, I'll turn into a beautiful princess. And he didn't care, he put a frog in his pocket. Kept walking, she said again, if you kiss me, I'll turn into a beautiful princess and stay with you for a week. Then he looked at, he stopped, looked at the frog, you know, smiled and put it back. Then he kept walking, and then she's like, what's wrong with this guy? So then he's like, I'll turn into a beautiful princess, and I'll do anything you want, I'll stay with you, marry you, whatever. And then he, he does the same thing. And then he, she's like, what do you want? And I said, anything you want, I'll do, right? And then he stops and he's like, look, I'm an engineer. I don't have time for a girlfriend, but a talking frog is cool. <laughs>